all right hello everyone welcome to today's class today we'll be doing the cutting of the back also which we've already done the front so this is the front i cut please this is the half length so you can make yours a full blouse if you want to so this is the upper part i cut i place it here so that i'll be able to mark where my line is to get exactly the same length so that it will be equal and then i'm just going to rule this together and i'll be back all right so we've taken the length and here you can see i make a real space i'll be using this for my button or zip allowance that's why i gave this part so from here now i'll be taking the wideness of my board um dividing to four so let's i'll be taking like um 12 dividing to that's 12 now by the time you divide into four it's going to give us 12 or let's okay we're using 40 for example for the bus dividing to four is going to give us 10 so i'll be marking 10 up here now can I get the wideness of my neckline? 10 divided into 2 is going to give me 5. Please, I'm working from this middle part. This is my zip allowance. I don't know if you can actually see it. So 10 divided into 2, which is 5, plus 1 inches, which is 6. So I'll be taking 6 for the wideness of the neck for the back. And I'm going to be bringing my back neck with about 1.5 inches. All right, so I have to do this again. I never knew it was not featuring, and I've already cut this. Okay, so let me do the explanation again. Um, after which I gave this part for my zip allowance, and then from this middle here, I took the wideness of my neck six inches. Now, how did I get the six inches? The whole wideness was ten. 10 divided into 2 gave us 5 inches plus 1 inches make it 6. This is the pattern I've always used for my off shoulder neck and it has been working for me. So this is 6. Now this 6 is not included to my zip allowance. So by the time you add my zip allowance to it, it's going to give us about 7 inches. And then I took my arm O from here, the cut of my neck is sorry. I took it 2 inches down. And I just cover it because I'm adding a ball sleeve to it. And then I just shaping the side. So that was what I did. So I cut according to the shape. Now for this neck deepness, I took one and a half inches. I'm really sorry. I didn't know this thing was not featuring. Oh God. I took one and a half inches down, which I use in bringing the neckline down so that it can be equal with the neckline at the front too. So that was what I did at the back and it gave me two pieces. All right, everyone. So before we proceed to the sewing part, I to cut the fabric, which we'll be using to cover up our cup here. So I'm going to use this um, plain hair stay to show us how to do it. First of all, I fold into two. I'm going to use iron to press this. So I'm just going to press this now so that I can get the middle line. And I'm going to fold again into two, making it a four part. Then press so that I can get the middle line. So that's what I'll be needing. So let's see if our lines are showing. All right. So you can see the middle line here. This is the center mark here. So what I'm going to do now from this center mark, I'm going to be placing my tape and I'll be marking four inches all the way around as a circle. So I'm going to be doing this. Marking it for four inches round. 
so that I can give me a circle point. All right, so these are the dotted mark. What I just need to do now is to connect each mark together. I don't know if you can see it. So I'll be connecting each mark together to form a circle. Remember here is the middle mark. So here is our middle mark here. Let me just draw it straight. Sorry. So this straight line is the middle mark. And here is the circle we got. We took 4 inch, 4 inch, 4 inches all around and connected it together. So the next thing I'm going to do from this up here, I'll be marking 1 inches in. From the down, I will also do the same. On this other side again, one inches in. Likewise, it down also. So I'm going to be connecting to my point like that. Then connect it to the down part. So I'm going to do the other side like that too. And connect it to the down part. So I'll be cutting this out according to the shape, which is going to give me something like this on one side. So you just cut according to the shape, according to the shape. So it's going to give me something like this on one side, which I'll be having two pieces. And the next thing is just to cut it on your fabric. Okay, so this is the other part, which is giving me two pieces like this. So transfer this cut now to your fabric that you want to use, which will give us something like this. So it will give you something like this now. So this is what I'll be sewing together to cover up my cup bra. So I'll be sewing these two together. While we're sewing it, we're going to see how to maneuver it to cover the cup bra. So on our next class, on sewing class, we'll see how we can go about it. Thank you.